What's going on YouTube? Well, sitting beside me is a $152,000 Cadillac Escalade. Because this is not just any regular Cadillac Escalade, this is the Cadillac Escalade V with 682 horsepower. <laughs> so it has a big massive V8 under the hood and it sounds phenomenal. So if you wanna check out our full review, you can go ahead and check that out. But tonight we're gonna to be doing a night review. So we're gonna check out all the cool ambient lights, all the extravagant bougie touches that Cadillac has thrown in when you live with this vehicle for seven full days. So let's go ahead and hop into that and do our night review. All right guys, so I wanna start off by talking about what happens when you walk up to the Escalade itself. So of course, with a very pricey vehicle like this, you do have proximity sensing, which means that as you walk up to the vehicle, the headlights are gonna turn on, the taillights are gonna turn on, they're gonna have their cool animation. We're also gonna turn on our projection puddle lamp of the Cadillac logo right here. So as you can see, it projects nice Cadillac logo, really easy to see, even honestly in the daytime. And on the bottom of the running boards, we do also have a light strip, so it's super easy to see if I'm about to step in a puddle or anything like that. So I give it an A plus on approach lighting because this definitely will remind you you're in a $150,000 vehicle. Now when we unlock the door there, you'll see the running boards do fall down. Of course, these are power running boards. They have the illumination underneath. We have illuminated Escalade skid plates right here. But let's go ahead and hop in start it up and hear that glorious V8 engine. Woo! Never gets old, even at nighttime. You didn't think I could do a review even at night without revving it at least once. But let's go ahead and check out the exterior. All right guys, but starting out at the exterior of the Cadillac Escalade V. Now, of course, this is gonna be pretty much signature Escalade on the outside. Uh, they have done a few different elements uh, to make it a little sportier for the V um, model. Of course, this being the V, that means we're gonna have the fully blacked out grill. So that's gonna show up um, decently well at nighttime. Of course, if it was a chrome grill, it might show up a little bit better, but a lot of the blacked out elements up here. And then as far as our headlights are concerned, we're gonna have our signature Cadillac Escalade headlamps. They're gonna be premium full LED lighting. You have the two crystals inside of here. There's your high beam, this is your low beam. And then we're also gonna have our waterfall LED daytime running light as well as turn signal indicator. If you notice, if you get in close, you'll notice all these cool details going through. Uh, both the headlight unit as well as the taillight unit, you'll see in the back, it's really quite beautiful that Cadillac has put that attention to detail. Also, this piece will have an animation as you approach the vehicle as well. I know you didn't see it earlier, but overall, the front is definitely in your face as you would expect from a Cadillac Escalade, even at nighttime. Now, working our way around the vehicle, we do have some side marker lamps here. We're also gonna have our big 22-inch alloy wheels with our 16 inch brakes on this model for the V-Duty. Then working our way up to the mirrors, let's talk about this. We have a side turn signal indicator that shows up really well at night. We're also gonna have standard blind spot monitoring, power folding, and auto dimming, but only on the driver's side. That's a, a feature I would definitely like to see thrown in for both the driver and the passenger mirror on a car that costs this much money, but it's just gonna be on the driver's side for this Escalade V. Now, as far as the side, we do have these nice door handles. These are actually gonna be fixed door handles, so you can press it, but the door handle itself doesn't actually move, and we do have some lighting integrated on the top. And then working our way around to the rear design, there's not really much going on at the side, but at the rear, you're gonna have that completely unmistakable presence of an Escalade. You have the full-length LED tail lights. You're definitely not going to think this is anything else out on the road because it just has presence. That's really what the Escalade is known for. So taking a deeper dive into our tail lights, you'll see all those intricate details that I was talking about earlier, all the way up to the top, working our way down to the bottom. We also have our LED turn signal indicator. It's a nice amber design for this model, LED reverse light. And then we're also gonna have 
LED license plate lighting to finish off the rear. Of course, we have our amazing quad exhaust system down here in the bottom. It sounds absolutely phenomenal, guys. If you really want to hear all of this Escalade in its full glory, go watch our full review because we do have that with a full test drive as well as the revving and exhaust in that video itself. Let's go ahead and check out the cargo area for the Escalade now. In order to get back here, you just cleverly press the Cadillac logo that pops uh, open the tailgate. And inside of here, we're going to have, of course, a ton of space. This is an Escalade after all. Um, I believe the maximum is 121 cubic feet for the regular wheelbase version. You can get the long wheelbase version in the V form, um, so you can even have up to about 150 cubic feet for a V Escalade, which is super cool. But as far as the night lighting, we do have some lights integrated up here in the ceiling. As you can see, they're very bright LED lights, so they illuminate everything going on back here. Um, definitely no complaints in terms of the lighting. It's illuminated perfectly. So whatever you're loading in, you're gonna be able to see it at night. But guys, that wraps up the exterior of this Escalade V at night. So let's go ahead and check out the inside. All right. And when you open up the door to this Escalade V, you're gonna, of course, know this is a very special product because it's gonna be well illuminated at nighttime. There is LED lighting everywhere in this cabin. So when you open the door, all of the lights turn on and you're gonna see all of the very nice interior that you're gonna get with this Escalade V. The beautiful Napa leather seats with the quilting design. They're also massaging all the speaker grills. You see all those details because it's so well illuminated. But let's go ahead and hop inside and fire this baby up. Now, check out this animation. Looks even cooler at night, and instead of the Cadillac logo, you actually have the V logo up here, up in the gauge cluster, but let's go ahead and turn it on. Whew. Never gets old hearing that V8 growl, but certainly there's some cool elements that we want to show you inside of this cabin at night, so let's go ahead and hop into that. All right, guys, so I want to start by talking about your lighting. So as you can see, this is what the lights look like. Uh, this is just your low beam. Now if I turn on the high beam, as you can see, it does illuminate quite a distance. That tree, as you can see, really illuminated well. And we've driven this on quite a few country roads and it's very, very bright. These are excellent, excellent headlamps in low beam and high beam. Now down below that, you're probably also noticing uh, that we do have a head up display on this model. As you can see, it has the speed readout right now. Um, it's a very, very crisp head-up display, high resolution, and it shows up great at night as you would expect. Now, if we come back, you're gonna notice that we do have all of these displays. There's 36 inches of OLED screen real estate going on here. So let's go ahead and break down some of the cool features that you're gonna get with that. I have to say, it looks really good at day in the daytime, but at nighttime, these displays really come to life. They are incredibly high resolution and then over here you have the ability to adjust the displays so right now we have it on just some general trip information but if we go into here this allows us to switch the different modes so we can switch it to the gauge style which is special for v duty of course here that wonderful v8 growl you can also put it in the map mode which just gives you a nice little map kind of like Audi virtual cockpit. AR camera, which I'm sure you're probably curious to see at nighttime. Look how um, high resolution that is. Honestly, I was not really expecting this to be as high resolution as it is because cameras typically at nighttime have a lot of trouble exposing things and it really does a fantastic job as you can see. Now, finally though, at the very end we have this button. <laughs> this is night vision. So yes, this Cadillac Escalade V does have night vision. Check this out. How absolutely sick. Even if we had our headlamps completely off, I'll turn them off just to prove to you. So they're fully off now. 
as you can see, no headlamps whatsoever. And we can still see absolutely everything in front of us. It literally, it looks like I'm CIA spying on someone right now. Um, so that's really, really sweet that Cadillac has included that on this Escalade, albeit totally unnecessary, but it's certainly a very cool feature to have. Now coming back to our steering wheel, we do have a really nice one, leather wrapped, leather airbag cover. It's gonna be heated for the Escalade V. I also wanna point out over here to the left of the gauge cluster, you do have some LED, LED ambient lighting. You can configure this to pretty much any color that you want. It also continues here on the door trim, goes down, has a nice design to it. And then all of our buttons are gonna be illuminated. They're gonna be a nice white color for your window switches, as well as your heated and ventilated seat controls and door locks. I also wanna point out for your, there's a little handle here to close the door that also has some ambient lighting in that as well. Now moving on from that, let's check out our center console. It's a little dark in here, but once we open it up, you will notice that this whole area is illuminated. Uh, we have nice LED lighting going around the entire perimeter. This particular model actually has the cool box option, so this is actually a refrigerator. We also have illuminated USB ports. Shutting that up, we do have our controls in front of that. This is your controls for the infotainment screen if you don't want to use the touch screen. We have our volume knob. All this is going to be a nice white illumination. And then here is your shifter. Your glorious V button is going to be <laughs> in red. And then let's go ahead and put this baby in reverse. See what the camera looks like. As you can see, and as you would expect, we do have a 360 camera on this model. But look at the resolution. It absolutely does not uh, look bad at night. Really high resolution camera. So you can see we also have dynamic um, grid lines. And the parking lines also line up really well. So it's a very good 360 camera setup. Then moving up from that, we do have our climate controls. I do like that when you adjust the climate, you have that nice little animation for your temperature adjustments. Then moving on from that, here's some more of your ambient lighting. It goes all the way across the dashboard. It looks really good. Um, and then over here on the passenger door trim as well. Then looking up here, this is your 16.9 inch main infotainment uh, display. This is also an OLED display really phenomenal resolution. I, I just want to preach that because it's just so, so good. Um, you have all the typical stuff and it looks so good at night as well. Now moving on from that, here's our rear view mirror. Once again, this is also a rear camera mirror and the camera quality is very impressive. So Cadillac certainly hasn't cheaped out on camera quality. I think this is probably one of the best vehicles for camera quality that you can buy nowadays. Then up at the very top, we do have our moonroof controls. These are also going to be illuminated as well. And we have our big panoramic moonroof up top so you can see the stars at night. Let's go ahead and check out the rear seat of the Escalade V. You have your illuminated scuff plates back here as well. Lots of LED illumination when the doors open, so you can definitely see where you're going. Getting inside, the illumination kind of fades out. Then inside of here, of course, the big feature is that you're going to have the 12.6 inch rear seat entertainment screens. Um, so of course these are really nice uh, rear seat entertainment screens, very responsive. You have all your different uh, app integrations, so if you want to watch Hulu, YouTube, whatever, it's a, a feature on this model. I will say it's pretty bright at nighttime. I'm sure you can adjust the brightness somewhere inside of this display though. Now as far as some of the features, Heated rear seats back here. All of your controls are going to be illuminated. You have cup holders. I will point out these are not illuminated. You really can't see much of anything in there. We do have illuminated footwells. So we're going to have blue, blue in the footwells. We also have blue in the uh, door grab here. I will say though, Cadillac kind of cheaped out and did not give ambient lighting tracing the trim pieces like you'd notice in the front. See how it traces the trim pieces up in the front? nothing going on here in the back. So on a $152,000 car, I would definitely like to see a little bit more ambient lighting in the back. Um, but that is that, I guess. You're paying mostly for the motor. 
Well, guys, that's going to be all for this night review of the 2023 Cadillac Escalade V. This, of course, is a very special vehicle to have for seven days, so we're very grateful for that experience. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, we would truly appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button down below. Also, follow us on TikTok and Instagram where you have other forms of media. And we'll catch you next time as we sample more of the latest automotive deluxes.